Hi, Scottish Mudlacking here with Nicole and Craig. Since we started this channel about three years ago, there are two questions that we get asked all the time. Question number one, can we see more jewellery making please? Question number two, where can I get a hold of the findings that you use in your jewellery making? And today we've come along to Rocky Bay to answer both of these questions. If you want to skip ahead and find out how you can get a hold of some of the things that Nicole's been using for jewellery making, just pop down to the description. There's a link there to our new Etsy shop, Two Crafty Kittens. We're looking for three pieces so that we can make some jewellery. Or rather, I say we, I mean Nicole. And that, you could not look for a better piece uh, to be like a pendant or so, right? That is absolutely perfect. It is perfect, yeah. It's a lovely kind of oblong shape. It's smooth on either side. It's uh, kind of pretty much symmetrical. It's uh, an A-grade piece, so to say. <laughs> it really is. It's a good start. Mm -hmm. It's quite promising. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to have to grab that up. Um, and then, we've got two other pieces to find. Um, do you think we're going to find pieces that are quite as nice as that? Oh, we, I see, sure hope so. Wee pieces like this, but maybe not, mm. not of the quality that that is. No, no, we'll just focus on the, the top quality today. We only need three very, very nice pieces and that's definitely one of them. Yeah, so three pieces and then we'll get back along to the house. We'll crack out the bales and the findings <laughs> and stuff and Nicole will make some jewellery. Very cool. piece number two. Now, oh do you know what, I can see something <laughs> down there and I'm not sure if it's what uh, what you're talking about. So I'm looking for a big piece that might make a pendant. Oh. Uh, but what I'm seeing is a very small piece uh, that is really rare. <laughs> so you can tell me, is it, is it a big piece I'm looking for or a wee rare piece? It's a wee rare piece. Okay. <laughs> it's really small. It actually, it looks like uh, it might be better suited to be an earring so <laughs> yeah maybe maybe and a very small earring at that as well that's going to yeah. cause uh, i hope you can see it by now now that i'm this close in as well um it's just it's this wee piece right here so i'm going to move that in a minute but we'll just take a wee look at it in situ uh you got eagle eyes today <laughs> Well, it's kind of, it, 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 it jumped at me. It's a really, really bright colour. It's a flash glass with a white layer and a kind of pink, uh, pink to red top layer. Yes. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, no, it's, no, it's no, lost no, forever. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, let's see. I'll pop that there and hopefully it'll stay there. So you can see that white side that Nicole just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I come right down like that, you should be able to see the, the sandwich layers there of the red and the white. I'm going to pop this around again uh, and you see that lovely, lovely, lovely red colour. Yeah, it really is small. I can also see it's uh, it's got an almost kind of orangey layer, so it's like an amberina. Amberina is glass that goes from red to sort of orange. It's uh, probably just visible here, so... Okay, is that find number two? I don't know if that's going to make the jewellery <laughs> piece, but let's take it anyway because it's a super rare wee colour. Yeah. Now, just... Uh, I think we're going to take just a moment to look around here because I can see quite a few pieces. Not least so, this beautiful piece of green down here as well. I hope you can ah. see that. That's a really nice bit of sea glass. That is really lovely. And you know what also caught my eye? There's a piece right next to it, if you follow my finger, and it's there. Do you know, that looks like one of these uh, pyramids, kiln stilts, which oh, would be really unusual to find It's not though, here. is it? It's not. It's not. It's just, it is ceramic, I think. Mm. It looks like it's a piece of ceramic. Um, but I don't think it's a kiln still. No. So let's let's have that. I don't know if you want tiny pieces of pottery, which are super rare to find here as well. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Oh. And I keep losing them today in between all these lovely stones. <laughs> there we go. Now oh. there's a wee piece of pottery there. Now that's not the nicest thing that I've seen here. Oh. And I've taken my eye off the nicest thing uh, because we've been looking at these pieces. Oh, I'm going to take that away. Thank you. Now I'm just going to try and cast my eyes back again. Uh, and see if I can see. Ah, there it is. Now, it's it's mean to ask you if you can see it because it is well hidden, and it took me a few seconds to find it. But I'm gonna ask anyway. Can you see it? The yes. super nice piece of glass. Okay. Right now, it's just in here. Here. Yeah, right in there. You have a wee look underneath that. Oh, that's now, a wee cutie. Is that? Oh, there's seagulls. <laughs> 
might be bonfire. That's what I was thinking. Is it bonfire glass? You know, I can't see it on the monitor here. There it is. Just make sure that's it. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> uh, turn that over. Yeah, it does look like it's bonfire glass. Yeah. Um, not as immediately impressive as I thought it was, but there's other wee things here as well. I think that's just a wee bit of stone. Mm. Anyway, let's let's sweep that up then. Yeah, let's and that. we'll see if there's anything else here that meets the remit. There's this piece over here, and do you know what? I think that's a Coca-Cola bottle piece. Oh, okay. And the reason that I say that, I hope you can see it. There's there's the kind of ridge that you'd normally expect in a Coca-Cola bottle. Ah. You know, just up at the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I can see that. It's, it's a little bit kind of very organic shaped and not super duper smooth. So I think we're going to focus on the smooth piece. Like that bit? Yeah, that's a nice piece. Okay, so let's just take a second here and we'll see what we can collect around here. And then we'll take a closer look and see if we found another one of the three pieces that we want. Okay, so I'll take this one then. I think this uh, might be one of the pieces. Nicole's just pointed something else out as well. Uh, and I'll get up there in just a second to see it. But there's a piece here right in front of the camera. And it is an absolutely lovely piece of sea glass. Just this bit here. It has a kind of almost champagne coloured tint. Yeah. Peachy. Peach. Call it peachy. Mm. Uh, either that or it's dirty. I'm not sure exactly which. <laughs> Peachy order. Yeah. It's a good shape though. It's a nice wee drop shape, wee teardrop sort of like kind of shape. That's really lovely. Yeah. Now, we're going to take that. Um, now, the question is, are we going to take these wee pieces like that? Or do you want to aim for bigger pieces? The question here is, uh, do you fancy making pendants or earrings? Oh, earrings are always kind of tricky to make because you really have to match the two pieces. Um, that one is a really cute piece and I think we should take it. I've got something in mind. Okay, um, dogs. Well, so let's take that one. We'll swoop that up. Now, just on the way to the piece that Nicole pointed out, there's a little cluster here, a little flange uh, of sea glass <laughs> uh, just sitting in here, just underneath these stones. See that? It's oh. like a wee nest. Yeah, yeah, a nest of green. Yeah, so there's three different kinds of green in there, yeah. and there's one kind of a uh, clear piece. Oh, okay, there's actually four pieces. There's this olive piece up. here, <laughs> this Kelly green piece. Uh, this one looks more like citron. Uh, another Kelly green, and this lovely red piece here. Now, without any further ado, Nicole pointed out a piece here, yeah. um, and you know what? I, I can't see it just now, no, and neither. amongst all these wee stones. Um, but if we can, can you still see it? No. Oh no. <laughs> I've lost oh, no. it. <laughs> it's grey and it was really nice and it kind of blended in. It was in this area, I think. Oh, here, 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 here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you'll see that. It looks just like a stone from a distance. Mm -hmm. So you really do have to know what you're looking for, for that kind of one as well, right? Yeah. But it's just this wee piece right up here. That is nice. That, that is the like, perfect size for an earring, but I really doubt that we'll find another piece like it. Rare is quite a rare colour. Uh, Grey is quite a rare colour. Rare. rare is a rare colour. <laughs> I've never seen rare. Not in the wild. <laughs> anyway, yeah, grey, as you say, is indeed a very rare colour, so we should definitely have that. I'm just going to put that up here. Hopefully, it's really chunky, actually. Oh. It's a really nice, interesting wee shape as well, that piece. Well, it might have been a part of a TV screen. You know, the old TV screens were a kind of grey on the edges? Yeah. So that's where some of grey sea, the grey sea class comes from. Well, let's swoop that up then. Okay. Oh, there were a couple of pieces here in this area, so I think this might be a good place to There's start. a really cool piece here, actually. Mm -hmm. We're going to pile all these up on a rock in just a second. Now, that, that's awesome. Mm. Now, do you think that's maybe part of um, a glass uh, bottle stopper? It kind of looks like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to have a look at it and see if it's kind of perfectly circular as such, but it's certainly a really nice mermaid's teardrop, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. I'll tell you what then. Grab that up and we're just going to, as I say, just going to take a wee wander up here and we'll see how many bits we can find. Uh, maybe create a wee pile. Lots of green today. <laughs> so a wee bit of green there really really nice almost bluey toned piece of green don't worry you'll see that in a second what's this it's just a stone right but what's that oh it looks maybe it might be some sort of fossil it's 
got a tiny Ooh. wee uh, dent in it and like a little hole. Yeah. Mm. Don't know what that could be. Ah. Very interesting. Mm. Could be sandstone, maybe from an old building. Maybe, maybe. Okay, now. Wee bit sea glass, wee bit sea glass, wee bit sea glass. Oh, do you know what? There's another really nice wee bit right in here. See that? Oh, that lovely white drop there. That piece, yeah. It's right next to a little piece of bottleneck. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tiniest piece of bottleneck. I don't think we'll take the bottleneck piece, but I do think we should take that. Yeah, what do you let's reckon? take the mermaid's tear. That's lovely. Take that one. I'm going to take a close look at these in just a minute. Um, I keep promising this little pile. <laughs> now, another wee piece there that's quite nice, what do you reckon? Hmm, yeah, yeah, too, too organic for me, but... We're getting uh, really choosy. Yeah, getting really, yeah, really picky choosy. pickers. <laughs> look at these pieces, look at that. Mm. We, we pair of earrings just right in there. <laughs> if you had three ears, because there's three of them. So one, two, three. It's getting a bit Sesame Street if I'm going to do that, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Do you know what I just found? I hope we can see this. Nicole's having all the luck today. Um, so I'm finding it really difficult. There we go, I can see it now. I can see clearly now. Uh, no, 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 no. We're, we're copyright, we'll get the copyright. <laughs> we're so good. It's almost like listening to the original. <laughs> anyway. Nicole oh. is really having the luck today. That's the second piece of this really, really quite stunning um, flash glass with a white on the bottom and that amazing red uh, on the top. That's super rare, really yeah. cool. I am absolutely amazed and I think now I actually might be able to make a pair of earrings with those two pieces. And that'll be perfect just to show the lovely findings that we have at our Crafty Kittens Etsy shop. That's very cool. Uh, let's swoop that up then. Um, we'll, we'll take a closer look at this and all the other bits a little bit later on. Um, certainly when Nicole comes to doing that jewellery making. Now, I've, I've moved the camera strategically to this position because there's there's a number of things you can probably see a ton of sea glass in here um but you can also see one other thing that uh well yeah it's kind of sea glass isn't it mm -hmm. this? Uh, milk glass this bit here yeah it looks like milk glass oh, to me oh yeah yeah that looks like milk glass let's have that then yep there's do you know what there's there's a horde a horde a flange, <laughs> a flange <laughs> another a horde. flange yeah there's <laughs> lots and lots and lots of little pieces of sea glass in here. So just gonna fling them into this wee pile there. I hope you don't mind us just flinging sea glass around like this. Uh, but there's such a lot of it here um, that it's hard not to, it's hard, it's hard to avoid flinging sea glass around folks. <laughs> it's some nonsense I talk sometimes, I tell you. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a wee pile. Now, I don't think that any of the pieces that we've found here um, will really, end up being I think the third. So what do you reckon? Do you think we found two of the three pieces that we're looking for? The first one we found quite early on it's going to be a pendant I reckon mm -hmm. yeah. and the second one there is uh, likely to be a pair of earrings. What do you reckon? Yeah 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 I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm so hyped <laughs> thinking that we can make a pair of earrings with those two really lovely rare pieces uh, and yeah that pendant so we really only need one more piece now. Yeah Nicole's hyped folks you heard it here first <laughs> And we're not on the Gatorade. <laughs> this is just this is just sea air, folks. That's all we're on. <laughs> Let's gather that stuff up. If you want to take any of that, there's a couple of nice wee bits in there, yeah. and we'll get cracking. We'll see if we can find that last piece. So we were just about to start looking again uh, to see if we can find that that third and final piece, and then the sun just caught something. Now, i got to ask Nicole if she can see it because it is so small that I really doubt that you can see it. Now, so can you see it? 
<laughs> me, me, yeah, yeah, I can see it, I can see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I think oh. just because you said that caught my eye. Yeah, now that's the thing, it's, this, is, this is super weird, right? Um, as Nicole said a wee while ago, um, we don't normally find two pieces of glass that are reasonably obviously from the same item uh, in one day, but today it looks like we might have found three. So check that out. Oh no, now, I want to find a number four. <laughs> <laughs> now this is so small, there's no way that we're going to be able to drill that, I think. Do you think that's drillable? Oh, I, can, I can drill it. The drill bit is uh, just over one millimetre and I'm pretty sure I've made red earrings uh, with pieces that size. It is possible. Yeah, you know what though? You're going to have more hole than glass <laughs> by the time you're done with that. I'll turn that around so you can get a wee look at that. Lovely, lovely red. Oh, do you know what? It's sticking to my fingers. There we go. There's that lovely, lovely red colour. Aww. Really gorgeous wee pieces of glass these, eh? Yeah, it's really nice and it really, it really shines bright, doesn't it? I mean, not just when the sun hits it, it's an amazing piece. Yeah, I think that white glass behind it, it's one of the techniques in uh, making glass like this, was that if you put white glass behind it, you could never really get a dark colour behind it. So you're always going to get the brightness of the red shining through. Mm -hmm. It's like fire. Very cool. Now, you really do have to have eagle eyes uh, to see wee bits like that. Can you see it? Just in there, it's a wee bit of blue. It's absolutely tiny, but I think Nicole said it before, every time we come to this beach, if you find a bit of blue, there's no way that you're gonna leave it. You gotta take it away. I think I found it. Found what? The third piece, of course, it's right there. Oh, it's tucked away there in the shadows as well. Yeah. Uh, that was quite cool. It's another really nicely symmetrical piece. Um, I think it's got a really nice shape. It's, what's that at the top of it? Oh, there's a, is that a wee bit of a... A bit of... Um, is it seaweed? Yeah, I think it's a bit of seaweed. It looks really nice. You can see it because the piece is in the, oh, in the shade. I can't get that. Yeah, it's still a bit wet so it looks like, see when you wear sea glass a lot, the frosting goes kind of away and it goes to that kind of satiny finish. Oh, that's nice. Find a wee wish for you. Thank you, that's one wish but I've already found a couple of pieces that have answered some of our wishes. Let's take a look. Now Nicole's just set these uh, pieces of glass up uh, and this is this is pretty much what we've found so far. We've actually found a couple of things uh, on top of that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Nicole talk you through. Was, was that was that a piece that had just fallen down uh, on this rock or, yeah. or was it just random? Yeah, I think it's one of these pieces that has a life on it of its own. So I'll move that here. Now these are a couple of the pieces that we found. We found this amazing piece that we're going to make into a pendant later. And then our first red piece. Now I've got the other pieces that we've just found here and I'll put them here whoops okay a couple throwing of, them away yeah they <laughs> want to stay here and then I've got this second piece here so I'm really hoping that these two pieces will make a lovely pair of earrings with the uh, findings that we want to show that would be very cool uh, they're really going to pose a wee challenge for you with drilling I guess aren't they they're kind of, they're kind of tiny. Oh. I mean, one of them looks like it offers you a bigger target than the other one. <laughs> uh, but they're really nicely matched as well. Beautiful colour. Yeah, I think they're probably from the same piece of glass originally. So that's really, really amazing to find them uh, in one day. And I think they should stay together. that we've got the holes drilled, let's take a look at some bales. If you want to know how to drill sea glass, check out our video on how to drill sea glass. I think this mermaid's tail is going to look really nice with this chunky piece of sea glass. I 
don't know about you, but red always says romance to me, so I've chosen these heart-shaped ear wires. in a floral design bee. It's been an amazing day back here at Rocky Bay and we really hope you've enjoyed the jewellery making and to find out where I get my findings from. Now it only remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute to subscribe. An extra special thanks goes out to everybody who's been supporting the channel through Etsy and through Kofi. That makes a massive difference and it keeps the lights on. See you next time.